Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to install Skylanders Trap Team Mobile on anything between Android 4.4 to 9, Android 10 and 11, and 12 to 13. Each three will have their own method. The easiest, by far, will be the older models of Android. Android 4.4 to Android 9. Yeah. A little bit more complicated will be Android 10 and 11. And this, Android 12 and 13, have added security to the data st storage folder. So, we will have to get around that. I'll show you how in this video as well. Today, I have a Samsung Galaxy J3V. That will be my Android 9 device. I will be demonstrating on. This is a Google Pixel 2 XL. This is an Android 11 device. Steps here can also be used for Android 10 devices. And this is my Razer Edge Wi-Fi edition. This will work, this is Android 12. Steps on this will also work on Android 13. Do note, then in order for these two devices to work, I had to modify the APK file itself in order for the portal to even recognize the device. So do keep that in mind. You either download the modified APK that I made, or you can make it yourself. The steps are complicated. So if you wish to just skip all of that, you can just download it from the link in the description below. I will also be separating all the steps, but not 4.4 to Android 9 being part one with their own with its own sections. Android 10 to Android 11 will be its own part with its own sections, so on and so forth. With all that being said. I will get started on Android 4.4 to Android 9. So some of you may realize that this is similar or the same device I used in my previous tutorial. You'd be correct, it is a similar device. However, I will be going over the steps once again to make sure that no one gets confused. Do note that in order for this to properly work on such small storage, I had to get a micro SD card, one that was 64 gigabytes inside. I could have stored it on 16. Hindsight, I should have, but I digress. If you have a micro SD card slot on your device, on your older Android 4.4 to Android 9 device, I suggest using it. The files will be big. If you're going to format the micro SD card manually, I suggest you get yourself a PC, plug it in, and format it to FAT, uh, sorry, XFAT. XFAT is like FAT32, but can store up to 16 terabyte worth of file sizes. Unlike FAT32, that can do no more than four. Now, the files are in the description, but you will need to download the OBB, the data, and the Skylanders APK itself. Step one is very simple. Simply, fuck. Simply install the Skylanders APK. This is the default one. I did not modify this APK. So this is the APK that you will also find in the description. With that being done, we will hit done. Now we will open up the OBB zipped RAR file. This is the folder we are going to copy. However, we're going to paste it into internal storage, 
Android OVB. And we're just going to let that copy. know that the OBB folder has been copied over, we are done with that entire file. Now, next, we are going to move over the data folder. That will be in internal Android data. We will copy the entire folder from here into the data folder on the internal. This one will take far longer. With that being done, we will now head back to the main device screen. I'm just going to simply add this to the home screen. And all you have to do on these devices is just tap on it. In the process of making this video, my phone decided to start dying on me, so I ended up plugging it in to charge. It will blink for a little bit. Oh, right. Give me one second. I forgot about the controller. It will also blink for a little bit. As you guys can see, the Skylanders Traptanium Portal works. <laughs> that is Android 4.4 to Android 9. In the next section, we will also be covering how and where to get the files. Now to get the files, you can either go and do this on the device itself or through a PC and using a USB device of some sort, whether it be a micro SD card or USB, USB only if your device supports it. In this archive file, you will have to scroll down until you see download options. If you hit show all, it will show you all the files that you can download. Here you will find the APK, the OBB, and the data file that you will need for the tutorial. You will need both the data and OBB files for every device you're going to be using Skylanders Trap Team on. If you're running anything newer than Android 9, I will have my own modified version of this APK to allow the device to work with the portal. Now, we will be going over how to get Skylanders Trap Team Mobile.
to work on Android 10 through Android 11. Now, for Android 10 and 11, since I am using a Google Pixel 2 XL, it does not have a micro SD card slot. If yours has one, please remember to format your micro SD card to either XFAT or FAT32. XFAT, if possible, it will be able to store files more than 4 gigabytes inside. If you cannot use XFAT, I suggest you use a computer to download the data file folder or zip folder. You will then have to decompress that folder onto either the micro SD card or the USB of your choosing. I will note that not every device will be able to support XFAT. The Google Pixel 2 XL is one of those devices. What I did is format my flash drive to FAT32. Then I took the data file and extracted it to the flash drive. Some devices will need an adapter. Here I have a USB type C to female A adapter. On Android 10 and 11, you will also need a secondary file explorer. I am using Xploy. However, some other apps may work. Let's continue. Simply, I will start by plugging in the USB using the USB Type-C adapter. Now with that inserted, I'm going to open up the file explorer and in the SD card or flash drive of your choice, you will have to install this modified APK file. I had to modify it in order for the portal to even detect the device, as without this modification, the portal will not connect. So I will leave this file in the description below. You will have to install it. If you get this Google Play Protect unsafe app notification, you will have to hit more details and install anyway. Then hit done. Now we will copy over the OBB folder. We will copy it to internal Android OBB. Just simply going to open it up, take that entire folder and copy it over. This will take a while. Now, with those files moved over, you will also have to copy over the data folder. I have personally extracted the data folder to my flash drives, Android data folder right here. You will copy it over to internal Android data. The entire folder you can just copy over. Now, with the files copied over, you may safely remove the USB device if you are using one. Now, the steps for launching the, the APK are going to be different on anything at and above Android 10. Due to the fact 
there is a minor glitch that happens whenever you try to launch the game and then connect the portal ASAP. So, in order for the portal to properly work, I have found to first open up Skylanders Trap Team modified. And yes, you will have to have location turned on if you want the portal to connect. You will have to have files enabled for writing to the data folder for your current saves. Contacts you can turn off, but there is no need. The service that would normally use this is no longer available, so leaving it on or off is up to you. This is an older Android app, so it will come up saying it was built for an older version. We can hit OK. If you want to connect the controller, you may do so now. It will blink. Just gotta give it a while. You may have to have the device. There we go. It may take a few attempts. You will have to get past this screen. We will connect the portal later. Here we will hit no thanks. Then we may select a save. I'm going to choose this one. Maybe not. This one. Now we may connect the portal. We will hit no on the screen again. Now every time you put something on or take off of the Traptanium portal, it will work. However, there will be a prompt on the screen. We will continue hitting no thanks. But as you can see, it does still work. The only issue is the screen pop-up. If you take off and add a new Skylander or change whatever and then hit this, it will all update all at once. And roll. This is a common occurrence on every Android version at and above Android 10. So please keep that in mind. And that is how you get it running on Android 10 and 11. Android 13 and 12 will be next. Now, for both Android 12 and 13, you will need to download two apps. The first app you're going to need to install is Shinzuku. You can find that on Google Play. Just simply type in Shizuku. S-H-I-Z-U-K-U. -U. Then, you will need to find a file explorer that will work with it. I use Explore. Simply, once you have Shinzuku installed, open it. We need Shinzuku due to the fact that Android 12 and 13 have improved security for their data and OBB storage folders. So, they give you a step-by-step -step guide, but step one should be enabling developer options. You can do this by going into your device settings, scrolling down and hitting about device. Then scrolling down until you see build number. Tap that repeatedly until you're getting a prompt. It either will activate developer or will ask you to enter in the pin. Once you put it in and it makes you a developer, now you will see under system, you will have additional options called developer options. Here, 
We'll scroll down until we see USB debugging, and we're going to turn it on, and hit OK. Then, you'll need to turn on wireless debugging. If you don't see a prompt for Wi-Fi, simply turn it off, hit revoke U USB debugging from all computers, and hit OK. Simply turn it on again, hit always allow on this network, and hit allow. Now, back to Shizuku, we're going to hit pairing, and then developer options. Down where we turned on wireless debugging, tap it, and then hit pair device with pairing code. Then enter the pairing code into the box. There, Shinzuku is now paired. Now we can start Shinzuku. You may have to turn off and back on wireless debugging. If you want to start it again to make sure it works, you can do so. But here you will see Explore has the ability to read and write within the data in OVB folder. Now, simply open up Explorer. Since I'm using a flash drive, make sure that it is either FAT32 or XFAT. I'm using FAT32, meaning I had to extract the data folder into a separate folder on my flash drive. If I tried to keep it in the zip file, I would be unable to. So I'm going to plug it in. And here I have my flash drive. Here you will have to install the Skylanders Trap Team 1.4.1 mod. I made this modification so the portal can work on newer versions of Android. Yes, the portal will not connect if you do not use the modded version. Simply hit install. If Play Protect pops up, just click more details and hit install anyway. Then hit done. Make sure that the app is not running. So go and hold on down on the application, hit app info, and make sure it says for stopped is grayed out. Grayed out. That way, the app is not running in the background. Here, we will now open up a temporary file location. I'm going to use my downloads folder. And we're going to extract the OBB folder into it. And hit OK. If we tried to extract straight into the OBB folder, we may encounter errors. And we don't want that. So, I'm going to extract the file temporarily into a separate folder. Now, simply select the OBB folder in your temporary folder location and hit copy to clipboard. Then click move mode. Simply now go to your internal Android OBB folder and hit paste. There we go. Now, if you want to try to launch the application, you may do so. You will need location and nearby devices on if you want to connect to the portal. Files and media is for saving, reading, and writing to the data folder. You will need this for your saves. Contacts, the service that is required for this is no longer available. You may turn that off or leave that on. That is up to you. Either way, it doesn't matter. Just hit continue. This will tell you this app was developed for older versions of Android. You can just simply hit OK. If this happens where you get a black screen, simply 
exit out, hold down, hit info, and hit for stop. Sometimes even having the folder open in a file explorer can have issues so you can close that. If you also want to try to turn off Shizuku, you may do that as well. Now let's try again. There we go. Now, simply swipe it away and force close it again. Now, you will have to turn Shinjuku back on if you had already done so. If it says to wireless mode needs to be turned on, just simply turn it off, back on, and go back to the app, and it will start. Then, open up Explore. Now, open up the data folder. Then, open up the Skylanders Trap Team folder and click on Files. Here, we are going to copy both the cache, device file cache, and alchemy.xml. Make sure stuff like that is deleted on this on the internal Android data Skylanders files. Simply copy all three of these both both the folders and the one file. There. Now that the files are copied over, you should be able just to launch Skylanders Strap Team. If you wish to remove the USB flash drive, you may do so now. Do not connect the portal right away, as that will only cause issues. Just simply go beyond the screen. Click any save that you want. And hit start. Now you may turn on the portal. Hit nope. And simply put on your Skylander if you're choosing. You can press speed to close that out. And there you go. Of course, Bluetooth controller aren't really great. But, there you go. Skyman is trap team on Android 12 and 13. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy.